see you again today. I'm Marilyn Willis with the Layman Library and I'm here to feature story time with Marilyn. I hope you've been tuning in to all our adventures. Today's story that I would like to share with you is called Trick or Treat Smell My Feet by Lisa Disimony. If you haven't read this book, it's kind of a silly, fun book for Halloween. So I hope you'll read it. You can get it at the Layman Library. So it starts out with these twin witches. They're both dressed up alike. In fact, they look alike. And they have their cauldron already going. So their names were Delia and Ophelia. So Delia and Ophelia were twin witches and their purpose in life was to scare children. Oh, they thought that was so much fun to make children run and scream. They had special umbrellas that shot fire out of the end of it, and they would go around scaring the children all day long, and the kids would scream, help, help, and they'd run into their houses and shut the doors. They thought that was so much fun. And on stormy nights, Delia and Ophelia made it so that there was no lights working in the kids' houses. Their houses were dark. But Delia and Ophelia's house had lights. What a terrible trick. Well, Delia and Ophelia had a special plan. They thought that if they did something really fun on Halloween to scare the children, that would be really fun. So they came up with an idea and they have been taking the children's dirty, stinky socks all for the last two weeks. They would collect them. So if you're missing any socks at your house, it may be Delia and Ophelia have been taking them. So they collected all these dirty, stinky socks, and they started putting them into the cauldron. They put them in there, and they would take their big old spoon and stir it up, and started to make their special potion. Well, on Halloween, they got it all ready. They got more and more stinky socks and put them into the basket, and they put them into that cauldron to cook. They were so excited. Delia and Ophelia just couldn't contain themselves. They would cackle and laugh all day long. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun, they said. So they got the stinky socks and they put them together. And before long, they put more and more socks into the cauldron. And they had a whole collection of socks. And before long, those nasty, stinky socks started to send out a green smoke all over the neighborhood. You probably can't see it from here very well, but in the book, it shows that it's going to all the houses. And on Halloween night, all the children started coming out of their houses in costume. Some were dressed up as ghosts and goblins and Little Red Riding Hood and all sorts of princesses, pirates and they went out to say trick or treat. But what was going to happen when they rang the doorbell, instead of saying trick or treat, that green smoke was going to make them say, smell my feet. <gasps> Can you imagine going to the door and opening up the door and somebody say, smell my feet? That would make people mad, wouldn't it? Well, the witches thought that would be so much fun and they were looking out their window and they saw Susie, the first trick-or-treater. She was dressed up as a beautiful princess. She went to the first door, rang the bell, and she said, smell my feet. And the lady at the door said, what? And she slammed the door and didn't give Susie any candy. <gasps> Susie didn't know what was happening. Well, that happened all night long at the very beginning. The, the ghosts and the trick-or-treaters would go up to the doors and press the bell and say, smell my feet. And everybody would shut the door and think that was a terrible trick and they wouldn't give the kids any candy. Well, the kids didn't know what was happening. What a terrible Halloween that was. Well, the witches kept putting more and more socks into their cauldron. They thought, oh, we'll make some more green snow smoke and make this really fun. And they weren't paying attention and they accidentally put a little pink baby booty, a little baby sock that was nice and clean. And they put it in there and they didn't mean to do it, but they weren't paying attention because they were so excited. And they stirred it up and before long, do you know what happened? 
that green smoke turned into something pink. That clean pink baby booty made their potion turn into something else. And before long, all that pink smoke was going all over the neighborhood. The green smoke was gone, and all the children were going to the door getting candy. But the twin witches turned into little tiny toddler witches. And instead of going, <laughs> you know what they said? They said, ga ga goo goo. They didn't know what was happening. That pink sock turned them into little tiny children. They kept stirring that pot, thinking that it was going to get better, and instead it got worse. All the kids got extra candy when they rang the bell and said trick or treat, and all the kids went home happy. But Delia and Ophelia turned into baby witches. In fact, they were crying so loud da, da, go, go, ah! that the lady next door heard them crying and she went in and rescued them and took them home to her house. She put little pink sleeper jammies on them and cuddled them and put them to bed. And when she put them to bed, she gave each of them a little black blanket because she knew they were little baby witches. And she said, I hope from now on you'll grow up to be really nice to people and never be mean again on Halloween. And that's the end of the story. So hopefully those little witches turned up to be nice witches. And that's the story of the Trick or Treat Smell My Feet story. Did you like that story? I hope you've enjoyed our Halloween story time. Be sure and tune in again to see us soon and check out all the other things that we have offered here at the Layman Library. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.